Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're here, I'm guessing you came from my last video on how to download eBay and PayPal reports. That video is a little outdated, so I'd like to show you the new way to do them. It's just a few different things, it's not too bad. So we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna start with eBay and I'm gonna start with your recent orders. So you're gonna gonna go to eBay, my eBay, and then you're gonna wanna go to selling. Click orders and all orders. Now it depends on how far back you wanna go. I usually do the last 30 days for my reports cause I'm doing the month before, the bookkeeping for the month before. So I'm gonna go to last month. And you need to wait till it loads and then here are all your orders for last month. Now over here, there it says download report on the right hand side. You want to click download report and it's going to pop up in the bottom left hand corner preparing download. Once you get that, it's a CSV. You can open it and it will pop up. And here are your orders. Now my Excel ran out. I don't have Excel right now. But anyway, here are your orders. You can format it however you'd like. I usually just hide everything that I don't need and I just have the order price, which is over to the right, column Z, sold for. And then in column AG, you have that column that is your net after your shipping and everything like that, that is how much you make. And that is the first report. That is how you get your eBay sales for the last 30 days. So next report would be the eBay fees. This one is a little bit more tricky to get if you don't know where to go. So we're gonna start by hovering over my eBay again, going down to messages. We're gonna go over to account. And then left hand side, it says seller account right here. We're gonna click on that. And here are all of your fees. So to get the stuff we need for the actual report, we are going to click fees. And then here are your fees. You can customize the view and again, just do the last month or whenever you'd like. So mine would be May 1st to May 31st. I'm gonna apply that. Here are all your fees. So again, we're gonna press download, download activity as sorted. And again, that just pops up as a CSV. You can open that up and then this is what I like about this. It's just all, all right there. And what I like to do is filter for column E, the amount, because there's a bunch of stuff in here. If you have a store, I'm not sure if it's like this if you don't have a store, but there's a bunch of like insertion fees and picture pack, subscription fee, just a bunch of stuff that I don't have to pay for. It's just every time I make a listing, those are on there and the final value fees are sprinkled throughout. So again, I like to filter for column E or sort it or whatever you would like and then get rid of all that other junk and then I just sum it out at the bottom and those are my fees for the last 30 days in eBay. Very simple to get and that is the last eBay one I use. So now let's hop over to PayPal and get those ones eBay does have a lot more reports if you're in interested in that. I think those two give you everything you need pretty much because now we're going to get the shipping through PayPal. So this is my PayPal and you're going to go to activity, reporting, and all reports. So 
here is this. There's a lot of cool things you can look at on here. Your sales insights are always pretty neat to look at. But for our case, we want to go to financial summaries. Financial summary. And if we were going to just stick with May, let's press May. Create report. So here's pretty much our financial statement for PayPal. That doesn't really do much for us though. So we are going to start with fees right here. So if you click this number, it gives you a list of all of the fees and we're gonna press download report. We're gonna stick with CSV I think CSV is formatted better than if you press Excel. It's just way easier to read. So we're gonna open that and here is what it looks like. This is super easy to read. In column H, you have your gross sale. I, you have your net. And J is the column we are looking at for what our fees were for each item. So if you use PayPal for anything else like personal use, you're going to have to go through and delete the ones that aren't don't have anything to do with eBay. I usually do that. Just look down through and make sure they're all eBay. And then I sum it up at the bottom. And that's all there is to it. Those are your PayPal fees for the last 30 days. Last report I do is shipping. This is a pretty big one. So this one is actually under purchase activity. So we're gonna press on online payment sent and we're gonna download this report, CSB again, and open this up. So here we have all of our eBay shipping. So again, you're gonna to wanna to filter this for the eBay shipping, just because sometimes if I buy something through PayPal, it'll come up here. I don't know if I have anything in this one, no. But if I would, I would just have to delete that. And another note, I don't know if mine's in here, maybe it didn't line up, oh, right here. This is what you wanna delete. This is you paying your eBay fees. And if you already accounted for your eBay fees, you do not want to account for them twice. So delete this line and then that won't count in your shipping. It won't look like shipping. It kind of hides the shipping and sometimes I miss it. But if you delete that, then you won't account for your fees twice. So after that, you're just gonna wanna, again, um, sum it up at the bottom and those are your shipping fees and so you have to recap you have your order total you have your ebay fees you have your shipping fees and you have your paypal fees if you are reporting you're going to want to account for any store subscriptions any advertising any um, consignment that you do for anybody all sorts of things so if you have reports you need to account for them there but there is no sense in keeping track of every single item that you sell because you can just pull these reports they're just the easiest reports to pull so that is it if you have any questions please let me know thank you all who commented on my last video telling me it was outdated and i will get this one out as soon as i can to help you guys pull these reports and just stop doing that tedious reporting otherwise. Thanks for watching.